Hey, it's uh, Prometheus giving you another full game recap. This is going to be a double header uh, that I'm going to be giving. Uh, two different games. One is um, a really good game, and the other one is kind of a, a blowout. Uh, this is my team that I have. I've got Denzel Ward, Troy, Troy Aikman, Mark Ingram going against pretty much the same team. Uh, those are the best cards he has. Draft champions, I'll be using LA Rams uh, as my offensive and defensive playbook using a 34 odd uh, and mixing up my plays. Uh, 34 odd is my go-to defense. Um, it just It's easy to set up blitz, have pressure in your back pocket, and I just think it's one of the one of the easiest schemes to play online. Uh, and with my with kind of understanding how to draft a team, I can, I can set myself up uh, to uh, basically go ahead and draft a team. So if you haven't... Um, if you don't, we haven't seen my my uh, uh, little uh, the video that I posted, which essentially shows you how to uh, how to counter draft picks and how to go ahead and make the best team and draft champions based on your scheme. Um, you want? I'll, I'll go ahead and drop that link in the bottom of the description. So right here, I hit him in the little seam play. He's unable to tackle me right there, and I'm able to go up by a quick score, seven to nothing against my opponent. Back on defense again, so I've got to stop. I'm getting the ball in the second half. Um, he's not doing very well right there. Cover sack. He, this guy definitely was not. He didn't have fast progressions or reads. Hit him with a little, per, uh, a little uh, dual edge pressure, uh, man blitz. I had to go and take care of that running back, but I was out of position. And right here, I got a lucky break. I don't know what happened with that. I got a very good animation right there. He was trying to get rid of the ball, and it just comes out. So take the ball, uh, get it down by the 12-yard line right here, and I just want to try to move the ball down the middle of the field. This is a little uh, check and release. It's basically a block and release route. You can see the little blue route underneath, and it's just it was just eating him up because he had all his guys dropping back to take away some of the reads, and I could just go ahead and pop that. Then uh, I decided to go ahead and start popping him with the run. And you're going to see the run open up for me a little bit more because he starts making adjustments. So right here, take a little dive play right up the middle, right behind the guard to go and pick some pretty easy yards. Another dive play right up the middle. So I'm just chewing the clock right now. I'm thinking to myself, okay, if I can go up on two scores against this guy, chew the clock down, uh, go into the second half, um, basically beginning the ball in, in, the, in, in the start of the second quarter. And with that, um, I can actually go up by three scores and pretty much ice this game. So right here, nice little dive play right up the middle. He had actually had his uh, defensive line spread out, so that was just an easy read. Uh, he had this play locked up. His defenders had this play locked up. I had to check it down. Probably the smart thing to do was not to throw that ball, but right here he he uses a double uh, a double blitz right there and actually comes in. I go ahead and no huddle, start making adjustments, watch the clock, watch the clock, and then he just go ahead and uh, take the points. You know, take the three points, chew the clock down. This guy did not have good clock management, so he was not necessarily the best player right there. So go once again with a dive play. He actually bottles it up right there. Uh, go back to the outs. The defender was in the area, but uh, he was out of position. And then hit him with a draw play. That's a pump draw play right there. You actually go ahead and get some more yards. So first and ten situation. Drop it down to the running back. Get uh, you know a, a chunk of yards right there on a first down situation. So second and, and five. Hit him with a crosser right here. Actually comes down. He gives he gives the crosser in the back and side. So I've been setting him up with that with that particular route for the entire play. Go back to the draw play, but his de his de de defensive tackle just eats up my center, which I think was the weakest part of my t of my offensive line. Come right back around. He hits, sticks me, and knocks the ball out. And that's one of those situations where you always do possession catch, especially if you're catching the ball over the middle and you got the yardage for the first down. There's no reason to rack it. And that was just a bad play right there. So I actually missed the field goal right here. I, I had... I had the range. I just missed it. I, I just it was something I, I need to, to work on is my field goal kicking. I don't practice that at all. Um, it's just it's based on old mu muscle memory. So right here, actually hits me with a nice little angle route. That was a good route right there. He caught me off guard. I ran I ran out to the flat. Now he starts using this trip set. I can't get out there to actually tackle his running back. He does he does a slip screen. I was I read it correctly, but I just couldn't get in position to actually make that tackle. So right here, I throws right into me. I actually miss an opportunity for for a uh, interception. He comes right back. I hits the angle route, and my defender actually knocks the ball out. So third and ten situation. Go ahead, dial him up with the blitz. Want to make sure I'm not out of position. He blocks his running back, and he hits the high guy, and he actually turns it up, picks up some more yards, and I actually tackle him so he doesn't get a touchdown. But uh, that was a good good play by him. Um, he's, he's making the reads. So what I do is I switch into a different defense to give him a different look. This I think it was a cover six that I switched into. And he has got no progressions. He's got no reads. He throws right into my man, and that is basically it. I think after that, yeah, he checks out. 
So I'm going to go ahead and jump into another game. Now this is a, another Draft Championships team, still using the LA Raiders. This is going to be a better game. Uh, he's got um, Lockett, Ty Law, uh, Denzel Ward. So he's got good defensive backs, and this is my team right here at Alshon Jeffries and Green. So the only thing I didn't like about this team that I drafted, I didn't have basically a good... I didn't have really good fast wide receivers. I had good receivers, but I didn't have fast wide receivers. So right here, he dials me up with some crossers. So this guy uh, has obviously uh, faced the 34 defense. Uh, he was making really good decisions. Uh, he had good complement routes, and he, he was using a lot of pro concepts. You're going to see in this gameplay that he's using concepts and plays a design that a lot of pros use. So right here, I dial him up with the blitz. He no huddles. Fourth and 15 situation. Uh, in this type of situation right here, I go ahead and figure out, I'm just going to go ahead and stay with the man blitz. Uh, he goes into um, a trip set. Uh, he's probably going to be blocking his running back. He actually pulls this other guy over right here. I think he snaps. Oh, this is it. It's a good play right here. So he actually does a slant on the backside, motions the guy over, gets out of complete position right there, gets me out of a complete comp uh, position right there, and actually picks up a good first down and fourth uh, fourth and uh, long situation. So that was a good play with, for him. He actually had that in his back pocket. He made the right read. I did not use coverage uh, against him. I actually he went ahead and used uh, basically his own, and then he actually hits me with Old Faithful, which is a you know a bunch set. You motion the guy out, you get the little wheel um, on the back inside. So this guy was using tr uh, you know tested, proven type of uh, Madden concepts that a lot of the pros use. Uh, if you've ever watched pros or anything like that, you're going to see that. So right here, I actually hit him with uh, this uh, fade uh, smash concept, and he got he got himself out of position, and I'm able to go ahead and get a, a quick touchdown against him. So. You know, first quarter, both of us put up seven points. Um, it looks like this game is just going to be one of those high-scoring games. I was messing around with my defense. He catches me in the wrong defense. I'm in a nickel defense. My team is not designed to be in a nickel defense. And he no huddles. And I was not going to basically give him an opportunity for free yards. Uh, so I just I, I wanted to save his timeouts. I don't know if I'm going to need him or not. So what I decided to do is essentially go ahead and, and uh, take uh, take a penalty for five yards. It's not a huge deal. It still salvages my, my, my timeouts if I need it for scoring opportunities. Hits me with a little slant on the back and side. Um, I got myself out of position on another play uh, where I actually threw at my user. Right here, he checks down to the in route on the back and side. So he's just using a uh, basic level concept out of this trip set. He's just got the play flip, so not a lot of people see the flip format of it, uh, but you, you, you can pretty much pick up on that after a while. So he no huddles again. This is his thing. This guy basically with no huddle. Uh, he's now in a pretty good situation. Now he's going to motion his guy over. I go ahead and put a, a, a route on the back and side. It messes up his reads. He sees the defender float back to basically go take that. So he actually settles for three points, giving me an opportunity uh, to get points on the board. So it's going to be one of the more interesting drives right here. So he starts hitting me with pressure. Uh, he's, he's using a lot of man coverage, a lot of pressure. This offense that I'm running is not designed for heavy man pressure. It's more designed for uh, coverages. And <clears throat> right here, even though I got this ball off, uh, it was pretty much kind of a risky move to go ahead and take that play. So right here, I go ahead and block everybody. Uh, he presses, and um, I'm able to go ahead and hit this little hitch route, but his defender plays it perfectly. I don't know if he put a zone out there, but you can see he actually takes it, returns it. And look at this crazy play. So he showboats. I knock the ball out, get the ball back. This this game pretty much was done, though. After that, you know what I mean? Like there was a type of situation where he should not have got a, you know, that was that was BS um, on Madden's part for him. Right here, once again, like I'm just, I think he was using palms uh, with his coverages and it was messing up my reads. And I just after after just basically what he did with his defense, I was I was not playing smart football. You know how you, sometimes people just get psychologically start messing you up a little bit and you just you start playing bad um, and you just don't don't make smart decisions or you, you don't adjust correctly. This guy psychologically got in my head. He basically got in my head um, in that last series, the last two series, it seems like he was pretty much locking everything up. So right here, I get another interception opportunity. 13 seconds left. He actually threw in. I actually, it was a nice little click on and, and uh, basically an opportunity right here. So I had to go and check it down uh, to a little crosser, trying to get into field goal range uh, with this type of situation. So hit it with a corner route um, on the back and side. 
running out of bounds, still got two seconds left, 29 yarder, or actually about 47 yarder, and I missed the field goal. Completely missed the field goal. Probably should have burned a timeout. Um, that was just not a bad, just, uh, not a good choice right here. So I'm getting the ball back. I hit him with a little um, route underneath. Uh, he pulls himself out of position. I'm able to go and pick up some pretty good yards with it. Uh, but he's, he keeps playing this man blitz. Um, out of, I think he was using uh, basically a man version of this of this blitz. I think he was using um, the over G as his defense or something. Because look at the pressure right here. It just he just completely destroys me. And it's it's an under center offense I'm running. Um, I, he, once again, he got into my head. I, he really took me out of my offense. I didn't have any kind of an answer for this guy's defense. I actually blocked seven, and I've got a route that's going to beat man, but he actually comes in with his user to take that away. So uh, good play for him. Probably needed another blocker to go ahead and give my – probably needed another person, another route out there to go ahead and give myself an option. Uh, but this guy's just – he's she's working very well. He's doing a very good job of, 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 of blowing up my offense. Just He just he made, my, made my offense completely completely inept in this type of situation, and I had to basically, you know, dump my, my offense uh, later in this game. So <clears throat> come again uh, with him. I go ahead and put uh, some guys out there. I got some pressure off the edge, messes up his reads. This guy's going to get rid of the ball a little bit quicker. Fourth and 29. I don't know what he was thinking in this type of scenario, why he was going for it. This guy was very reckless. There's no reason for him to go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him with some major pressure right here. Um, I actually still had those those uh, little, you know, my, I had cloud flats out there to go ahead and take away some of his reads. He's, he's, doing, um, he's doing some crossing routes, and once again, I get him for a sack. So I get the ball down at the four-yard line. All I have to do is just punch it in. I'm going to take the lead in this game. So I go ahead and nice little run. He actually has a nice little block shed. Go with a pitch. Try to cut it back up. I, I didn't get in. I didn't get in. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit him with a QB dive. My center doesn't play that. So I got to settle for three. I, uh, you know, it's tempting to go for it in that type of situation, but he had he, he basically shut me down for three yards to get the ball in the end zone. So now he dials me up for a cover three beater. Now I I played cover three a little bit, but not, and I wasn't showing him cover three on that play. So it was just the perfect play at the perfect time. He goes ahead and hits me with a little crossing route, gets it down to the one yard line. So he's in pretty much the same scenario right here. So second and goal on the one yard line. I think I go with an outright blitz right here. He no huddles, which was probably not a good decision, but I'm able to go and get a nice little block shed coming free tackle him for a loss i think he no huddles again which was this thing go into cover two uh, cover two version of this and uh he's basically looking for some reads right here um he doesn't take over this quarterback right here he throws right into the coverage i almost got an interception uh right there but he settles for three two so it, you know, a game that started out with, with a lot of high scoring right away and, and, and turns into a situation where both of us are uh, basically settling for, for, for points. So I ditch my, my, my doubles offense altogether. Um, he was sending a lot of pressure. He was guessing on who he's going to cover right here. Got a little crossing route by A.J. Green. I've got Murray um, on, on the, the back inside, or Jeffries on the back inside. Uh, the hitch was by, or the out was wide open. So I go ahead and hit that. Now I'm getting in the field goal range. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, so what I need to do is milk this clock as much as possible. Don't give this guy an opportunity. Check it down to the running back. The running back actually gets hit. Uh, go back uh, to the out route with Jeffries and just go ahead and possession catch it. Need to come down, get first downs, milk, milk the clock. So I'm, I'm milking the clock in this guy. I'm just trying to milk the clock as much as possible force him uh, to not get an opportunity. Go ahead and hit the running back route. The running back comes up with a huge catch right, right in front of the defender. Um, I think I took a timeout right there because we're down to 30 seconds. It's not really going to give him a lot of time. Check it down to this little check and release. I don't think it hit this against this guy at all. Um, so he's actually using a lot of coverage. And right here is pretty much the play of the game. I'm looking either high-low, and I threw the ball early, and I get picked off, man. I the the play was basically I was waiting for that guy that that, that tight end was going to release but I just got anxious because I was ready about ready to score this guy this guy was pretty much outplaying me the entire game and I had opportunity to beat him um, but you know it was just a bad it was a forced throw and it, it just I did not throw that ball correctly I should have waited just a second or so but because of the way he psychologically started messing with me going and hit me with a lot of pressure i was that was like kind of my, my back thought so once again to my subscribers thank you for your support until next time